Hey folks, today on Louisiana Hook and Shoot, we're gonna be installing this Yak Gear heavy duty anchor trolley on my Viking Pro Fish Reload. Y'all hang in there with us. Thank you for joining us. From fish fries to crawfish boils, from the woods to the waters, we are Louisiana Hook and Shoot. All Louisiana, all the time. Welcome back, folks. And look, again, we're installing this Yak Gear heavy duty anchor trolley to our uh, Viking Kayak Pro Fish reloads. And here's some of the things you're going to need. You're going to need an anchor trolley, of course. I'm using Yak Gear, but you can use whichever you know one you decide to use. Uh, also, you're going to need some Permatex Anti Seize Lubricant. Now, I say Permatex just whatever you decide to use. It's, it's, it's to keep stainless steel screws and such as that from seizing up in salt water environments and such as that. So get some of that, uh, made in a knife, some pliers of some sort and uh, screwdriver, of course. I have a lighter for our shrink tube and uh, to burn the ends of the rope when I cut it to length and a pair of shears. So, and we also have our two pieces of shrink tube and uh, we'll install that on there. So thank you for being with us once again. Let's just jump uh, right into it. Now, one of the great things uh, about, about the Viking is it comes with brass inserts pre-installed on the kayak, the bow at the stern, ready for uh, an anchor trolley. Now I'm gonna be installing mine. Uh, I'll show you the way I'll install mine. There's multiple ways that you can install an anchor trolley, uh, but I'm gonna install mine uh, with a ring or with a carabiner in the middle of it so it can move back and forth, of course, and then I'll attach it to these uh, saddles right here as I'll show you in a few minutes. But let's go ahead and, and get into it. In the pack of the Yak Gear, uh, it comes with uh, two trolleys to go on the bow and the stern. Uh, it comes with a set of screws. Now I want you to look here, when you get the Yak Gear one, and of course you don't have to do that, but it comes with well nuts, uh, and screws and all of that. Uh, that way, if you have something other than a, uh, a Viking kayak or something like that, that you can drill those holes, install those well nuts, and uh, you're good to go with installing the, the anchor trolley. Also, uh, the set or the kit comes with the, uh, the attachment saddles. Uh, here you go. And it also comes with three uh, carabiners to use to attach the, uh, the trolleys to, uh, to the kayak. So let's, uh, let's get right on this and uh, install. Now you're here with me, this isn't pre-done. Uh, you're here with me as I am installing. So y'all uh, hold on with us. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, and get into this thing. access to the rope there. And saddle. Now what I love about the Viking, again, it comes pre-done. So I don't have to worry about drilling holes in my kayak and uh, all that kind of wonderful stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and go right to uh, the install, which in my opinion, is awesome so I don't need the big long screws either so I'm gonna put a little bit of this Permatex on a screw and we're gonna install it front and back Now, if you have a Viking kayak, uh, I watched another video the other day, and uh, they mentioned that sometimes during uh, the manufacturing and, and heat process of making the kayak, 
that the two brass insert inserts sometimes will be close uh, together. Uh, and they said if you have to do that, just take a hammer, pop that, and it'll uh, you can get on in there. Just make sure it's good and, and snug. Not over tight, but good and snug. That's the bow. Let's go to the stern. See, as it says, it, it, it kind of, I'm going to need to tap okay. that. Y'all hold on. All right, folks, look, um, what I've had to do, as I said in the beginning of the video, that when you're installing these saddles, these are pre-installed in a Viking cab. But sometimes in the cooling process, after it's molded and poured, these brass inserts get a little close. So what I did was I took these pliers and I put that in between her right there and just pinched it just a little bit to where my screws would match up uh, with my uh, my kayak. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. Make sure it's tight. Don't over tighten. And we are ready on both sides. So how this is designed to work, take the carabiner with each pulley. Attach it. Just like that. Attach it on your kayak. One in the bow. Now, what you want to do is make sure your gate is up. That way if it fails, it's not going to allow it to slip up and out. So, just like that. Let's verify on the front that our gate is up. And it is not, I have to switch that. So again, make sure your gate is on the top side. And there we go. Our pulleys are installed for our anchor truck. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna get your uh, rope. That comes with the, uh, the anchor trolley. They give you 30 feet of rope. So uh, I'll have a little left over. My, my kayak is 14.9. Uh, but uh, you know, some of you that's got shorter kayaks and such as that, uh, have to worry about it so much, but I'll have a little left over. You'd have more, a little bit more left over. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put my connection on the bottom. So when I'm pulling my anchor trolley and such as that. All right, here we go. Run it through. Now how? You can, they come with uh, additional saddles. And uh, I'm not going to, I'm gonna leave mine hang a little bit loosely. But you can attach these at other intervals uh, to the sides of your kayak as guides. I'm not going to, uh, but you can, you're more than welcome uh, to do that. So the first thing you have to do on your one end, Tag in. All right, I've installed a uh, one of the hog rings on here. Now I pre-slid this sleeve on here, this shrink ring. So once I've got the hog ring on there, I'm going to tie a little simple overhand knot, just so it, we don't do any slippage on here. Just like that, and I'm going to hold it together here. And I'm going to put another one.
And this is just to make sure that we don't get any slippage. Just like that. Just like that. Now what we've got, we've got a haul ring, we've got a knot, and then we have another one. Now I'm gonna take these pliers real quick. I'm just gonna press them down flatten that out just like that and what we've done is we've created a nice little hole a little loop where this carabiner will slide in there just like that all right once you've got the uh, shrink wrap slid over your connection just uh, get you lighter little heat you can use a heat gun as well uh, but all we want to do is, is apply a little bit of heat to the shrink wrap not enough to uh, of course damage the rope or anything keep it moving and just shrink that heat shrink around your connection right there just keep it moving this is going to protect those ends and all that just like that Now what we want to do is grab your tag in. And make sure you don't have the ends, of course. Up on it. And on this Viking, what I want to do is get my carabiner. See how easy that's sliding back and forth? I'm going to get my carabiner. I'm going to load it up on here. This is going to help me get the length that I need. Now, on this Viking, you've got and leave it laid down so what i'm going to use to keep it out of the way when i'm not using it is this paddle holder such as that but you want to have it tight enough so i'm going to thread it through here i want to have it tight enough to where it's not going to drip below the boat but also where i can move it back and forth when i need to so i'm going to Give me a measurement right here. That should be fine. Right around in there. That should keep it out of the way of my rod holder. Should be able to move back and forth. Kind of almost have some semi guides right here. But also I have this here. I can put it in here. So I've got my, my length right here that I need. I take it out of the carabiner. Now I've got my mark here. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna reach back here real quick and I'm gonna tie a knot because I gotta go over there and get my clamps. That way I don't lose it and I can always untie it here in just a minute. Make sure you feed your shrink tube through here. Kind of in preparation of it, just like that. I learned a long time ago Measure twice, cut once. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna just make sure one more time of where it's gonna be falling at. I'm gonna tighten it up just a little bit. I got it. All right, I'm gonna put my knot in it one more time just to keep it safe. I'm gonna put this hog ring on here. like that and I'm gonna grab it right here pinch these sides down
Of course, we know nothing's easy. Just like that. That rope is not going to slide through there. I'm going to put this other one on here on the opposite direction. like so I'm gonna untie our little knot just like so slide our got my length so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab these shears and cut that off and we'll burn that in. I'm gonna take the shears and we'll cut that I'm gonna burn this edge here Just like so, so that doesn't fray. And we're set for our shrink tube. Just like that. And again, keep it moving. Don't burn your rope. Shrink that tube around it. And we have a nice, neat little connection Just like so now I'm leaving a little bit of tag in on here I will probably end up cutting this off putting another piece of shrink tube on it just to uh, secure it even better but for the purposes of our installation video we're good so what we've done here you can put another ring on here by all means and uh, our anchor trolley is installed now, let me show you how we're gonna operate this. I've got my, what we'll do, if this was our, uh, if this was our anchor, what I, I plan to do is, is snap my anchor rope in here, attach it to one of the uh, saddles that I have on the inside of my kayak, and now what I can do is put the anchor out, whether I use my stick anchor, my marsh anchor, or, uh, or my yak gear anchor, you can throw it out and then you can situate yourself in the current, whichever way it needs to be. Does it need to be at the front of the boat or does it need to be at the back of the boat? Now what this does is in an emergency, you can quick clip out of your anchor and let it go. Once again, I wanna thank you for joining us today on Louisiana Hook and Shoot in this episode about attaching my anchor trolley to my Viking kayak pro fish reload. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing and being a part of Louisiana Hook and Shoot. Go out, get on the water, get in your kayak. Let's do some fishing. Let's do some riding. Let's do some yakking. Brian Dove with Louisiana Hook and Shoot. All Louisiana, all the time.